Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 20th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the if-else uh, construct in Perl. So we are going to add uh, just a little bit more code in the script that we prepared in the last tutorial. And uh, in the last video if you remember we used the if statement to check whether a number is even or not. And if it was even then we used a print statement to display some text. So you know I've just added a few more lines in the script uh, but I've renamed it. I've called uh, this one if else and uh, on line number three in the script I have uh, created a scalar variable called x which has the value 21 currently and uh, then on line number five I have uh, an if statement which is first going to check whether this value is even or not and it's going to do that through the modulo operator so I have the percent symbol here and uh, my divisor is going to be 2 and I'm going to check whether the remainder uh, you know when I divide this number with 2 is 0 or not and I do that using two equal to symbols and you know those are my equality uh, operator and uh, uh, the RHS is 0 right so I'm checking whether the remainder uh, of this operation is 0 or not if it is then I'm going to get inside the if block uh, which starts at line number 6 and ends at line number 8 and it just has one print statement on line number 7 which is going to display the text x is even and uh, if this condition is false in the last tutorial we were not doing anything right so uh, Perl was checking this if it was true it was showing this if it was false it was doing nothing but now we have an else statement immediately after the closing curly brace of the if block on line number 8 so I have uh, the keyword else on line number 9 and uh, this does not require a condition you know to check because if this is going to be true we're going to do this if it's going to be false then we are automatically going to come to line number 9 and execute whatever code we have inside the else block which starts at line 10 and ends at line 12 and just has one statement within uh, the scope it's uh, it's going to display the text x is odd right and by the way if this evaluates to true then uh, Perl is simply going to surpass everything that's inside this else block it's going to do nothing with this and it's going to move on you know after the else statement if there is some code it's going to jump to that so anyway enough talking let me save this file and I'll run this and show it to you so at the moment x is odd because x has the value 21 and uh, let me change this to 20 save the file and uh, when I run it I see that x is even right so both the um, uh, you know constructs have a similar syntax you know the if and the else uh, statements uh, it's just that you don't have a condition with else uh, there is another construct that allows you to put a condition with the else and we're going to check that maybe in the next tutorial um, but you need to remember uh, that no matter what the value in x is only one of these two print statements uh, is going to run right so that's the beauty of if else and i hope you guys had fun watching this video you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next tutorial till then take care